Mohammed Rashid could hear the panic in his wife's voice and began recording the call. It would be the last time he spoke with Setra Begum. What are you doing? Setra's fateful journey began decades earlier when her family fled civil unrest and a repressive military regime in Myanmar. Last year, more than 3,500 Rohingya attempted to cross the Bay of Bengal and the Andaman Sea. Setra and two of her daughters were among those looking for a better life. Late on the night of December 1st, Setra and 180 other passengers left the beach. One week later, the sky cracked open. Since the frantic phone call to her husband during the storm, no one has heard from Setra. <laughs> <laughs>